OD was founded in 1962 by a group of Swedish high school students that wanted to donate money to charity, but didn't have the money themselves. So in order to support charities in other countries, they decided to dedicate one day of their own education to do work and then donate the money to charity. This led to the foundation of Operation Dauswerk, and since 1962, OD has raised 128 million Danish krona for different projects in less developed countries around the world. So if you want to take one day out of your own education to earn money for people your own age that are less privileged, put your iPhones down and listen up. So yeah, why are we doing OD? Well, we're not just putting money into a big black hole of poverty and corruption. We're giving money to a charity project that regenerates itself through education. And why is OD a good way of raising money? Well, by doing physical work. Just like we have charity clubs that go to Thailand, Ghana, or Peru, you become more aware of the cause, and you can actually feel that you're making a difference. You can go home and tell yourself, wow, today I actually did something more meaningful than spending five hours on Facebook and wondering what I'm having for dinner. This year's OD project takes place in Kenya and focuses on improving the conditions for lesbians, gays, bisexuals, and transgenders, as well as other people breaking traditional social norms. In Kenya, these people are ostracized by their families, expelled from their schools, denied medical aid, and are victims of threat, violence and imprisonment. This marginalization greatly increases the risk of these people ending up in poverty. The OD campaign Faith, Hate and Love has the purpose of empowering these people to fight for their rights. It will educate 500 LGBT youths to use the media and to engage in discussions with politicians about improving LGBT rights. In addition, the campaign will educate 2,400 LGBT youths about general human rights. Finally, the project will create a safe space area where LGBTs can take refuge and receive personal counseling. Pretty decent project, right? So now you might be thinking, well that's cool, but why am I listening to this? Well, the only thing that we're really asking from you is to take a step back and look at OD from a fresh perspective. OD shouldn't be a burden. It should be a meaningful and easy way of helping kids in other countries get an education. So we organize it, you participate. We find the jobs, you earn the money. And from this year, participating in OD Day is completely voluntary, so you should do it because you actually want to make a difference in a meaningful way. And because we don't see why OD Day should be limited to DP students, OD Day is from this year open to all CIS students in grades 9 to 12. This year's OD Day will be on November 5th, 2014. If you want to become even more involved and use OD as a class activity, here's what we offer. You can do OD every single day of the year. No, JK, what we're really offering you is not as committing. If you want to become even more involved in OD and help out organizing a day where students get to do some meaningful work, we are offering you the Odd Club. In the Odd Club, you have a choice to become part of the communication and event team, the job team, the OD contact team, or the creative team. So did you like this video? Do you think you can make something better? Or do you simply want to learn more about organizing big events? Then we want you. Visit our Facebook page, OD at CIS, where there's more information about the Odd Club. And the Facebook page is also where we'll be updating information for all you people that simply want to participate in OD Day on November 5th. We hope that some of you might want to check out the Odd Club and that lots of you will consider participating in OD Day and fighting for LGBT rights in Kenya. Thanks for listening!